The challenge of transforming a creative work in a given medium into something equally compelling in another has intrigued artists throughout the centuries. The process of translation requires a profound understanding of the vocabulary of both forms of expression and the creative ability to imbue the new work with its own intrinsic value. This exhibition of definitive mid-career work by the important American artist Larry Dinkin examines the relationship between Dinkin's paintings and silkscreen prints, focusing on the interpretive process. As in the case of many other artists, Dinkin has used painting as his visual laboratory. The fluidity of paint and its willingness to yield to the manipulation of the brush make it a perfect medium of invention. It encourages the essential give and take between artist and work, where both dictate the flow of ideas. Silkscreen has quite the opposite set of properties. While ideas can be worked out directly in this ancient stencil-based medium, its lack of plasticity and its unforgiving nature render it a more common instrument of refinement and purification. Unlike the improvisational choreography inherent in painting, most of the creative decisions in the making of a silkscreen print take place before any color touches the paper. This exhibition has been designed to enable the viewer to appreciate Dinkin's accomplishment in the two media and to gain insight into the methodology used by this artist to achieve both. As a teenager, Larry Dinkin was drawn to the visual glories found in the museums of New York City and in the art books at the local library. He was particularly drawn to the exquisite figurative technique and luscious painting of Rubens and Velazquez. His fascination with these artists, among others, propelled him to embark on his own journey into figurative painting, working primarily in oils. In his early 30s, he began to explore landscape, creating structures based on nonspecific scenes. Although sense of place was always essential, the abstract elements within the landscape were of great interest to Dinkin during this period. In 1992, with a painting landscape of structure from a dream, the derivative aspect of the work became subordinate in a universe no longer tethered by objective reality. The new oeuvre of non-objective realism would yield some of Dinkin's most profoundly personal and yet universally compelling paintings. While energetic application of paint gives the appearance of spontaneity, the paintings are actually carefully studied and arduously rendered. The painting process begins with sketches of structural as well as amorphous forms defined primarily by line. The preparatory work evolves slowly. Sometimes several weeks pass before the sketches are incorporated into a final drawing. This compilation of sketches is then drawn onto the canvas where it becomes the outline for a quickly rendered underpainting, which will form the foundation for the painted layers to follow. The completed work is complex, paintings within paintings and layers within layers, each one carefully built upon the preceding layer. This rigorous methodology limits Dinkin's production to three or four major paintings per year. The collaboration between Larry Dinkin and master printmaker Alexander Hyrisi founder of Fine Art Printing, begins with Dinkin selecting a painting which will serve as inspiration for the silkscreen edition. After the goals and processes are discussed in great detail, a dozen or so screens or stencils are worked out and then hand cut. The largest and lightest areas are printed first. Gradually deeper shades are printed over the previously applied lighter layers. This continues until approximately a dozen colored patterns are printed on top of one another with transparent oil inks. A myriad of new colors are created along with the overlapping intersections of the transparent layers. The results of this initial phase of the printing process are then evaluated and discussed by the artist and printer. Dinkin then paints directly on the silkscreen, adjusting the image in response to what has occurred on the paper, both planned and unplanned. Allowing the work to speak is an essential part of the interpretive process. The refinements that Dinkin has made are incorporated into the evolving image. More screens are cut and more patterns printed, some with textural elements added. Once again, the results inspire further alteration of the initial idea. The cycle is repeated until 90 to 100 screens have been cut and printed. This unprecedented number of screens, combined with the use of both transparent and opaque inks, creates a vibrant calligraphy that describes space and form in a composition of lusciously rendered motifs. The title of this exhibition encourages the viewer to make comparisons between the two relevant media and ponder the underlying interpretive process. 
It is also important to note that the true measure of accomplishment is that each painting or print be able to stand alone on its own terms and speak eloquently in its own vocabulary. In this regard, Larry Denkin has created two important bodies of work that either side by side or alone take us on a deeply rewarding visual journey.